Okay, so today we're gonna be watching Adventure Time Distant Lands of City. I am so excited to be watching this with you. Oh, I have to share the Studio Ghibli movie that we're gonna be watching next. Because we finished Infinity Train, we're gonna be watching another Studio Ghibli movie and that movie is gonna be, what is it called? Oh, Spirited Away. <laughs> we're watching Spirited Away. Uh, this is probably my favorite Studio Ghibli movie that I've seen. I've only seen like five of them. I don't know what day next week but sometime next week we're gonna be watching Spirited Away. Without further ado let's get into Obsidian. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think I said last time but I actually really like that intro. I think it's really nice and cute and like such a good callback to everything that you know and love about the show. I, whoever thought of that as the idea you're a smarty pie, okay? Sorry I'm late, princess. I was reading. Is this a society where reading is like lame? Reading is cool. I love to read. I'm on your side, little glass boy. Doesn't everything you read just leak out of you? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Why are they wearing those masks? Those masks look like Marceline. Why are they wearing Marceline masks? And what? Does he have a crack on him? Is that why they just said that? But the lightning lord above saw our trouble and sent us a hero. Oh, so she's like a savior to these people? You're a savior to me, Marceline. We don't have to be afraid of the furnace anymore. Is the person voicing this character, are they the person who voices, um, what's her name, Amethyst from Steven Universe Feature? Because they sound kind of similar. Uh, don't kid yourself, crackface. I like the way you are. God, that's so mean. I <sighs> so mad at the cold of the night. I am sick of living in the ocean. That brings back terrible memories of having to be in the choir. Like it wasn't even a thing that you got to sign up for. They just made us all do it and it sucked so much. We were all bad at singing. Like it wasn't as if any of us were gifted. Literally every single one of us was terrible. So it was all just us singing off key and then our teachers pretending that we did a good job and then clapping and everyone just being like, what was that? That was so bad. Anyway, that was still kind of a bop. I honestly feel like the people who make the music for Adventure Time are incapable of writing any song that isn't a bop in some way, shape, or form. Did he steal her necklace? I'm, I'm on your side, brother, but don't be stealing people's necklaces. Hi, Larvo. I'm just gonna fix my crack. Okay, um, why exactly would he go down there if he knows that the dragon is down there as well? The key! Crack! Okay, everything that could have gone wrong with this definitely did. I feel like they're actually doing a really good job of developing this society in such a short amount of time. So far, they've already established that these people are like severely prejudiced against anyone with a crack on their head or anywhere on their body because they're made of glass. They have a religious system with a savior. They have like a, a curse word that's crack because that's so bad. That's actually really cool. I like how they're developing this. No, I can fix it. I'll find Marceline. Marceline lived a heck a long time ago. So they think that Marceline is dead? Why? Do they not know that she's a vampire? Maybe they just haven't seen her in a long time. So they're like, she's probably dead. Ah, no, yuck. <laughs> this is the content that I'm here for. <laughs> they both look so cute. Their outfits are so nice. No way. I bet it was the princess who let him out. Also, I really like how they're doing this intro. It's so cool. That's like an old school 80s intro and I absolutely adore it. It's so good. <gasps> they sleep together. I, oh my God. <laughs> I guess I have been going for a new sound this time. I really want to get it right. Can I hear it? Tell me it's not everybody's dream to have, have a rocker girlfriend. Like, is that not everyone's dream? Like to have an early Avril Lavigne type girlfriend. <laughs> that insulting to say. I really loved Avril Lavigne. Like I had the biggest crush on her when I was younger. And these two, they're such a dynamic duo. There are so many things that like counter one another, but are also like the same. Like I just, oh my God. Whoever thought let's have these two women be in some type of partnership. I love them. I love them. I love how they bounce off one another. Why would you release Glass Boy? 
We need Saint Marceline. Oh, they call her Saint Marceline. That's pretty dope. Um, I don't know why they would be so upset that they released him. What worse can he do? He pretty much did the worst thing that you possibly could do. What's the worst thing that can happen? He dies. So he's he's gonna be in prison probably for the rest of his life, right? So at least let him try to do something for you first before he dies, right? I feel like they're overreacting. <laughs> Oh, I thought those were eggs for like a baby. I was about to be so scared for them. Through the candy, you must go to the place where grass doth grow. He didn't see the candy kingdom. It's pretty big. Also, I don't understand how the glass people thought that Marceline was dead. Like clearly they live a far way away, but if he only walked for like one day in order to get where he is now, they would know that Marceline is still alive and also involved with the princess. Girl. That must be so confusing for a little girl. Does this happen before or after the end of Come Along With Me? Because Simon is Simon and Simon was not Simon when Simon was not Simon. You know what I'm saying? When is this taking place? Last one was a prequel. Is This one is, it must not be a prequel. But in Come Along With Me, didn't Simon say that he was going to go look for Betty until he found her? I'm lost. Let's just keep going. <laughs> How does his crack not get worse? Like he keeps falling down and getting pushed and is this gonna end with him getting completely shattered or something? Playing out in Dirt Beer Guy's tavern. Then this guy shows. Let's be honest, that's how we all see her, right? Oh! Are we gonna get a flat? Ah! Okay, God, okay, okay. All right. Fine, we're done. What? Wait, huh? I I'm, I don't want to. Is this about how they broke up? That's sad. I don't, I don't want to watch these two break up. I really don't. Next to the family of bugs. Draw God, I love this. This is, this is, this is it, right? Like this is the scenery. This is like the most beautiful, pleasing color palette in the entire world. I, who drew this? Every single person who worked on these environments. I love you. You are so talented. You make me happier. Now what? Be Mercy, are we gonna look at her whole life? I'm down. I love this character, so I'm okay with it. You're gonna be a great artist when you grow up, Marceline. Yeah, I know. Aww. I'm still very confused as to how her mother survived after the 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 mushroom war. I don't get how that happened. I'm glad she did, but I still want to know what happened to her. You know, like clearly she died, but I still want to know. I'm so happy to see you alive. Well, we're not. Okay, if they know that he just went to go find St. Marceline, why wouldn't they automatically be like, oh, clearly that is St. Marceline. <sighs> All right, whoever you are, let's play. <laughs> I would, I would literally, I would sell, what's something I, I value but don't need? I would sell something I value greatly but do not necessarily need just to get like a full two hour movie of just Marceline fighting things. I love her. Turn up the reverb. She's gonna fight people with her tunes, with her jams. Oh my god, I bet she's gonna be able to defeat the dragon again by playing that song that she doesn't want to play for pee brubs. Next up, taking care of that dragon. Yeah! <laughs> Why is Princess Bubblegum sad about this? What What's going on? Can I get an explanation, please? Did she make the dragon or something? I don't understand. Is the dragon like one of her pets? I don't know. I don't know. What happened? Why? Why? What is wrong with Princess Bubblegum? Like, I unconditionally love her, but she's definitely my least favorite child. You know what I'm saying? Why can she not function normally if people are not groveling at her feet? I don't get it. What's, what's her damage? Like, obviously we know what her damage is. Images. But still, she has an entire kingdom of beings that she created for the sole purpose of worshipping her as a goddess. Why does she need random people to worship her too? Can't believe that I almost right. thought- Pause, pause. <laughs> I love the fact that music is such a big part of Marceline's character, but why every single time she decides to get in a fight with Princess Bubblegum, why does she write a song about it? Just talk to her. That's so mean. I should say that you're kind of a dictator in a way. She really did that though. Oh my God. It's what we were all thinking, but whoa, that was hard. Out of frame. No, I don't believe. 
believe you cared about me. This is a great song. I love the song. It's so good. It expresses so much emotion. Again, why would you sing this song to her in a in front of a million people? Maybe just actually break up with her instead of singing a very humiliating and hurtful song. I guess they're telling us like these are the flaws of these characters, and I I dig that. I totally dig that. But that's so sad. I don't really think you fit to rule your candy kingdom. We were getting closer. You should know that I am so done. I don't really care about you. You see, this is like such an Avril song, right? Did Avril Lavigne like step onto the team to help them write these? Because this sounds exactly like, um, I don't like your girlfriend. That one where she's riding the skateboard in the high school. What is that one? Princess, tell them, tell them, princess, tell them. Put a coconut glass, boy. Please just get out of my face for five seconds. The second thing your way then you blame everybody else the glass people suck let them get eaten by this dragon i don't even care they're all awful all right a new angrier song the other day you used my breath is this gonna be another situation where the song has to be true to the emotions that you're feeling at that time like the door lord episode a lot of things do a lot of callbacks to the door lord episode probably because the door lord episode is like one of the best episodes that adventure time has ever made ever it's so good but is this gonna be like that it didn't work because she wasn't actually feeling that way at that time she's gonna have to sing that song that she doesn't want to sing for princess bubblegum marcy this is a bad idea <laughs> She's just gonna abandon her girlfriend there? That's not cool. We'll be at the secret clubhouse party in no time. Oh my god, her mom looks so sick. Not sick like cool, sick like decrepit. Maybe that's not the word I want to use. Sick like ill, I'm sorry. Again, with the sick scenery though. Not sick, sick like cool now, sick like cool now. This is such a good color palette, but this is so sad. Are we gonna see her mom die? I really don't wanna see her mom die. And I know that that's probably what they're gonna do. I'm gonna start crying and I don't wanna do that. So, <sighs> okay, oh my God. <laughs> Looking at me like that. That's why you don't have children with demons. This is your fault. Oh my god. No, I don't want to say that. That sounds really sexist and bad. It's not her fault. It's just uh, if you're not prepared for your kid to have soul sucking abilities, maybe try a little harder not to get pregnant with the soul sucking demons baby. I honestly can't focus with you here acting like monster trash. What? <laughs> I don't know why she would say that to her lady friend. She kind of deserves this song. I, I'm thinking she kind of deserves this song now. Like, yeah, she was being kind of annoying, but at the same time, you're going to say that? <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I really, I really don't want to. I, oh my god. Oh my god. I see you. That's traumatizing. I literally, oh my God. This is really sad, I don't like it. I don't feel good. I feel really awful, it's so sad. Red light, red light, what are you thinking? Papa. This is really sad and I don't, I don't, I don't feel good watching this. I know that's not the point, but I really don't feel good. This is really like, this is affecting me more than I thought it would. Yeah, you're so good at music, Marceline. You are good at music, Marceline. You are. That was her ticket out of town. You scare everybody away, Marceline. What is happening? What? <sighs> okay, let's just keep going. I hope you can forgive me. Of messages. Wait, what? So her mom tricked her into leaving to go find the clubhouse so that she could like die without her being there? But then what happened when Marceline went back to go get her? She was just dead? What? Why didn't you just call Hudson and say like, hey, we're dying right now. We need help. She, your daughter is like starving. I don't know what to do. She definitely knows how to contact him and he totally would have helped them. It wouldn't have been how they wanted, but like still. Oh my god. <laughs> so sad. Mom? It's me, Glass Boy! Yeah. Oh my god. Go away, Glass Boy. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh my god. I wanna be alone no, right no. now! Okay. <laughs> Isn't that something we've all done? That's not a gleam, it's a glare. Oh, you don't care. It's like I'm not even there. 
I don't like his song as much as I like Marceline's music, but I, I get the feeling, I understand where he's coming from. You should go beat her up. No, I don't encourage physical violence. Beat her up with words. Or better yet, just don't hang out with her anymore. I need to be with bubblegum. She's good for me. It's not her fault I've got baggage. I don't necessarily think that it, it's like a baggage thing. I think the problem is that Princess Bubblegum decided to say that extremely hurtful insult to you. And it just so happened to be like the last thing that your mom said to you before she died. So I don't know. I feel like Princess Bubblegum is definitely in the wrong here. No, no that's like a family heirloom. I really like the way that they edited this. Like every time a character feels something, they do the dark lines over their face. Like this is an anime. And I really, really like that style. That's super cool. My bass is smashed. Ah, you love that bass. Was she gonna play on her old box guitar? Oh my God. A wave of acceptance has washed over me. No! We love a mature Marceline. We absolutely love her. Excuse me. Is he gonna sacrifice himself? Okay, I'm all right with it. We can trap them both in there forever. Why are they so awful? I don't, I don't get it. Why do they suck so much? That's that. What? Oh my god. Maybe. Is Glass Boy shattered? Because I think, I think Glass Boy might be shattered. She meant well, but I think it messed me up about being honest about my feelings. You and me are in a good place now. Well, not right now, obviously. This is the kind of stuff that kids need to see because this, this, this is a good relationship where you can, you talk, where you have these conversations about how you're feeling. And I like how they show how it was dysfunctional before so it doesn't all just seem like it was all great all the time. Yes! I knew it! <laughs> she's gonna sing the song and then the things are gonna die and she's gonna use the box to talk. I knew, I, how did I know? Hmm? How did I know? It couldn't possibly be that I'm an excellent storyteller, could it? We were messed up kids who taught ourselves how to live and I'm still scared that I'm not good enough. <sighs> I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. I need to relax. Oh my God. When I grew tired, love it only hurt me back. But love We're gonna do an episode of Be a Puppy Cat because I don't feel good. I feel really bad right now. <laughs> oh my god, there's still so much left. Oh my god, okay. Glass boy. <gasps> my princess, you're, you're. Oh my god, she's completely broken. Well, at least they can use the furnace now so they can probably fix her. Yeah, sorry for bullying you your whole life. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's totally fine, yeah. Hey, PB. Y'all got monster trubs? Cause I messed up so bad. Oh, so oh, Simon, <laughs> that's not Betty, bud. But Finn, does that mean Jake is dead? But it, it's cute that he got a tattoo of him on his chest. But he grew up to be such a handsome man. Anyway, I don't wanna sound all. Oh, is that Jake's daughter? I forget what her name is. It might be his granddaughter, actually. Kim Kil Wan. I think it might be Kim Kil Wan's daughter. I don't remember. <laughs> I've always loved your songs. anything I can really say and <laughs> thanks for stopping by tuning in watching uh, Adventure Time Distant Lands Obsidian with me yeah we're gonna watch the Studio Ghibli movie so stay tuned for that is there anything else I have to say I'm gonna go I <laughs> all right peace sign bye <laughs>